there is a phrase that I have used hundreds of times, whether I've spoken it on the phone or I've texted it or I've written it to my students as I've responded to the work that they've submitted to me online. And I've probably even said it to some of you that I've called on the phone and spoken with. And that phrase is, stay healthy and safe. It seems like the best phrase to say right now. And it makes sense because we have wanted to do everything that we can to keep ourselves healthy and safe. Even for me as a parent of a child who is at higher risk of having complications to this virus that's out there today, I have wanted to do everything that I can to keep myself and my family healthy and safe. But in that process of being so focused on health and safety, have we allowed the pendulum to swing so far to one side that we have abandoned other things that are either important or I would even say are more important during this time. Now I'm not saying that we should not do everything that we can to keep ourselves safe today, but I want us to think about what are some things that we potentially have put on the back burner that we need to remember um, are of incredible importance. And I believe it's found in 1 Timothy chapter 4 today. Now the previous chapters in, in 1 Timothy and Paul's letter to Timothy, Paul is writing to him about instructions for worship, He's writing to him about qualifications for certain church leadership positions. And in chapter 4, he tells Timothy that the reason why he's writing these things is in case he gets delayed on his travels to meet Timothy, that Timothy will be able to take over and teach the people these various things that are in Paul's letter. But then he warns Timothy that later on that some people are going to start following false teachings that they're going to fall away from their faith and he provides some insight into how this might be able to be avoided in the first place in first timothy chapter 4 verse 7 he says this have nothing to do with godless myths and old wives tales rather train yourself to be godly for physical training is of some value but godliness has value for all things, holding promise for both the present life and the life to come. So in the process today of us keeping ourselves physically healthy and safe, let's heed the words that Paul wrote to Timothy in 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 8, that even to athletes, that physical training, yes, is very important, that if an athlete was training for an Olympic event, that that physical training is vital, but in the process, they would need to do other things to make sure that they are keeping themselves strong in other areas, mentally prepared for what it is that they were doing. That physical training, yes, is of value, just like keeping ourselves physically safe is valuable. But in the process, let's not forget our relationship with God. Let's not forget that we are still in the process of training ourselves to be godly. Let's not abandon that during this time. So today is, if you feel like you have abandoned that, if you have been so focused on the physical health and safety of you or your family, that you will, in that process, remember also how important it is for us to focus on our relationship with God. And that you will do that. Uh, that we will all look deeply into whether or not that relationship to us is in the process of being built on a regular basis. Or if we're so focused in one area, uh, in instead of making sure that every area uh, is getting what is necessary, especially in our relationship with God. But I want to pray for you today and pray that God would help you to make sure that you're prioritizing uh, what you need to prioritize. Lord, we thank you. <clears throat> we thank you that you care about us, that you desire a relationship with us. And Lord, we thank you that you have kept so many of us healthy and safe during this time. And Lord, we know that this is important. We ask that you would continue to give us the patience that's necessary to keep ourselves healthy and safe. But at the same time, Lord, we ask that you would help us to recognize how important our relationship with you is and that we would not allow the other areas that we are focused on, whatever that may be, not just physical safety, to cloud how important it is for us to continue to train ourselves to be godly. And Lord, uh, help us today to evaluate where our priorities are and put them in the right perspective. We pray these things in your name. Amen.